Hi friends, and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So the Swedish word of the day is cold, which is in Swedish, förkyld. Förkyld. That is not like when you're cold and freezing. That is when you have a cold. I have a cold at the moment and I'm not feeling my very best. I have a little bit of a fever and I was basically gonna do a bunch of things this Easter because it's Easter when I'm filming this. When you see this, I'm probably healthy again and like feeling my very best. So you don't need to comment like, oh, feel better and so on. I really appreciate it, but I promise you I'm probably already doing that because uh, I usually pre-film as you guys know, but I do have my fan on and as I said, I, I was going to do other things, but I thought that since everything got canceled, I just thought that I would film a little bit and I don't really know what to do. I am going to do a full face, so I'm going to do my face, like my foundation and everything as well as the eyes. But what I wanted to do was to use the ColourPop I Love Sarah E palette because you guys wanted me to use this palette so i thought that i would do that today uh, so yeah we're just gonna get started so for primer today i'm actually gonna take this one this is from milani this is their prep and soothe Cam camellia primer that i recently purchased i actually didn't think that i would like this but i do it's not as oily as i thought it would be uh, of course it's oily um, but I do think it lasts and it's not making my foundation like greasy and gliding off which is very very nice and of course when I touch my skin I get like super red so gorgeous so I just needed to show you this because I went into Kix which is a local store here in Sweden where they sell um, urban cake not a local store but we have it in Sweden uh, so they sell Urban Decay, Linda Hallberg, they sell uh, ABH, um, Smashbox, a lot of brands. They have some like drugstore brands, but they have a lot of high-end brands. And every day leading up to Easter, they have um, different offers. You could, for instance, get the Beauty Blender for 50 per 50 50 percent off. Uh, but I went in on the day where they had these lashes for half off so i purchased two of these but then i found this little kit from uh real techniques i love their face brushes i don't love their eyeshadow brushes but their face brushes is definitely worth it and i mean this brush i have had and also this one but they all broke this brush i do have and then the little sponge and they had this for i'm gonna leave it on like how many dollars it is but they had it for 250 swedish crowns and i was like that cannot be right because usually these are twice as much plus they had 25% off I did share that offer on my Instagram so if you don't follow me there too bad but I am going to use the Real Techniques sponge oh my god I haven't purchased this in so long they did not have this little logo in the sponge when I purchased mine so I'm gonna take my Ardell foundation that I have in the shade light I actually really really been liking this I think the wear time is beautifully and the finish and everything so we're gonna use this today wow the Real Techniques sponge is way harder than I remembered it to be. I think that this might be like my new favorite monthly foundation. The finish is really, really nice, but you can still see a lot of my skin peeking through. Like I have this little blemish right here. I have two spots right here. Hopefully you can see those. So yeah, like I think it's, it's nice that it doesn't cover everything like a medium foundation is probably my my favorite i'm gonna take two different concealers this is the Too Faced born this way in the shade swan and then i'm gonna take the makeup revolution one in the shade f no c3 it's just because this is very very light so i'm just gonna take this like right up here and then i'm gonna blend it up with this but the plans that we had was basically to uh, party on the Thursday it's Friday today and I was planning on just staying home and being like hungover today but that didn't happen we didn't party yesterday just because both me and Nicholas actually got sick like he got sick one day prior and then I started feeling it and yesterday I kid you not like my back was just broken I honestly like really wanted to cry like I couldn't 
set up almost it was just insane and today when i woke up it was so much better yesterday when i had to take out sega he's i was like i i i don't want to do this i don't want to go out with him and that is like the the worst thing about having a dog is really when you need to go out and walk him because obviously you you cannot it doesn't matter how how bad you feel doesn't matter like he needs to go out and uh, you're mistreating him if you don't take them out nicholas and i we we helped each other to do it but my back was just like killing me so today when i woke up i was like oh my god my back is so much better so i took sigi out which is the first thing i do every single morning like i don't even check my social media the minute i wake up he's like on the side of the bed barking and being so happy that i'm up so i always like run up i just put my clothes on and then i kind of run out with him and take our morning walk and then i took a shower i never shower in the morning but it was so nice to just take a shower wash my hair and just oh it was just so nice i've been wanting to try this catrice um i bought this loose powder and i thought that it was like so strange I'm sorry, if you hear something, it's Niklas, he's blowing his nose. <laughs> As I said, we're both sick, so. But this was like super duper strange. It's really, really thick and it's not as finely milled. And I've used this on camera and I thought it really made my under eyes look really dark. So I thought that I wouldn't bake with it. So I just took a little bit on my brush here and I'm just gonna see how it looks like right here. Yeah, it definitely set it and it it actually looks good i think it's just like the under eyes and like not baking i'm not gonna take this powder under my eyes though but i'm gonna set my entire face and i never thought that i would start setting my entire face again but i realized that it really really helps my base lasts so much longer and then i'm gonna take the fenty powder under my eyes in the shade butter i'm gonna do my brows and then i'll be back and we can do something for the eyes i have done a look with this on my instagram where i used I don't remember all the shades I used, but I know that I used this, and this was like an all red look that I did. And then I used this palette in my makeup and murder video when I talked about Peter Madsen. But I know that I used the Good Sport palette, and also it's my pleasure palette. Damn, I got a lot of comments like, what's on your lid? And it was this shade, Bare Minimum and earth shine but i had the mattes from this so i had like a warmer crease okay so i'm gonna start off with the shade misbehave which is this one i'm just taking that on a fluffy brush tapping my brush off since i have done my base and then i am very very lightly going to dust this into my crease and i did prime with the milani eyeshadow primer if i did not say that i think that after this video if i have the strength or whatever like if i feel like it and i don't feel too bad i'm gonna film the video my least and most favorite juvia's place palettes i'm gonna rank all no not juvia's place palettes uh color pop palettes i'm gonna rank them all and now i need to put my fan on like i'm getting warm and then i'm getting cold and then i'm getting warm so oh oh i had a little fit before as well like i got super annoyed because my lash glue is almost empty so i was like okay it's time to bring out my backup couldn't find it and i was like am i crazy did i not have a backup like this is insane but then i found it like i had to search for forever but i found it so whew. so next up i'm gonna take the shade divina which is this one this is a reddish purple which has a lot of fallout so I would much rather build this up, just take my time with it, tap my brush off since I have done my base. But this is a beautiful shade and it really, really deepens this look up beautifully. Like it really goes well with the reds in this palette, which is really nice. So I'm going to take a lot of this. 
So I'm gonna take a little bit more red. I think adding this purple in, like this burgundy purpley shade was a brilliant move because if I didn't have that shade, I would be lost. I really would be. I would be like, okay, wh what do I do? <laughs> I'm gonna take the shade Euphoric right now and then I'm gonna take it just, you know, her usual blend, now I'm hot again. I guess that I should have just a fan on or off because I get that it's kind of annoying, you know, when it's on and off, but whoop. I, I'm just like hot sometimes and then cold sometimes, so I need to switch it up. I really wanted to go ahead and go outside today with my bike and pick up a package. I've gotten the Makeup Revolution skincare face masks or Revolution skincare. I just don't feel like it. I don't feel well, so I don't even want to go outside. But I think I'm gonna do that later. I don't think that Niklas wants to come, but so I think I'm just gonna go alone. I like it. I prefer it when Niklas comes with me because then we can bring Sigge. I usually put him in my basket in my bicycle. I'll put a picture right here. And before someone gets what if he jumps or something i have a leash that he's connected to so he cannot jump out of the basket just in case something would happen uh, so no need to worry about that and he likes it uh, he really really does last year we watched nicholas family's uh, chihuahua which is called ella we were going to go outside and like do the same thing, like go on a bike ride, and then he would take Ella in his basket. She did not like it. She did not enjoy it. So we were like, okay, maybe this wasn't the best decision, so we couldn't really do it. And he feels so masculine when he's in his little bike and someone looks at him because then he can bark at them. Like, he's so cool when he's in his little bike. We have joked about, like, <laughs> we should take a tennis ball and just cut it in half and put it on him so it's like a helmet. That would be, like, the cutest thing ever. <laughs> so I usually cut my lid at this point. I don't feel like doing that today. I just want to do something different. So I'm going to take a glitter glue. I take glitter glue every single time um, I do my makeup at this point because you can see that I have really, really... Like, it's really, really hooded right here especially. Like, yes, it's hooded here as well. But here I have, like, multiple lines. So I kind of really need to do so because otherwise it just ends up creasing on me. It doesn't matter what I do. And I feel way more secure with a glitter glue. So that's why I do it. And then I just tap it out so I don't have uh, excess product on. And then I'm gonna take the shade Mesmerize. Ah, Mesmerize. So I'm taking this right here. So this becomes a little bit of a warmer look, but I like it. This has fallout as you can see, but just spray your brush if you don't want any fallout. I am okay with shimmers um, getting me fallout because that is super easy to just take a fan brush and just whisk away. So you guys know the drill. I don't like these lines that we have going on right here. So I'm gonna take the shade Misbehave again and just blend over this. And then I'm taking Divina. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the shade Noc Nocturne. Nocturne. It's this one. It's a shimmer. I'm just gonna take it right here because I feel like it can blend very well with the mattes, but it didn't blend as well as I hoped. I'm just gonna take a little bit like that. Like that. I am now going to do my under eyes. I wonder if it's gonna be like too much if, if we take the shade Emerald Dream. I'm starting off with the shade Divina. 
And then I'm gonna blend it out using the shade Misbehave. So I'm taking the shade Emerald Green, which is this beautiful green, and I'm just gonna take this right here where I put already down a little bit of glitter glue. Ooh. This is a very, very stiff shimmer. Um, like in the pan, it's real, real stiff. It, it, did I even talk about the fact that my fa uh, about my package later uh, or before? I'm so out of it today. I'm so sorry. I don't think I did, but what I wanted to say about my package is that I have the Revolution face masks in there, along with like two bronzers and another one of their. Oh damn it! They're like pro pigments. I really want my masks today. I re I'm so intrigued by the pink clay mask. I really, really want to use that today. You guys seem to be super interested in that and. A lot of you were like super happy that I talked a bit more about skincare, which I think is real, real fun. So at the moment, I'm trying out the face masks or Revolution skincare. And I think within a month or so, I'm gonna talk about it. One to two months, because I wanna give it a fair shot. I am going to take this turquoise. No, I think that this is gonna look stupid. Yeah, this is not gonna look good with this look, actually. I think the only one that is gonna look good with this is the yellow one, so I'm gonna take the yellow one. It's my favorite. <laughs> so I just take this like so. So I personally like to take this on like smaller eyebrow brushes, but that is just personal preference. Use whatever you want to. Lip pencil, eyeshadow brushes, like whatever works best for you. One of my pet peeves is to hear people do this. I hate it, so I took a bunch, like a shit ton of nose spray, or what, I don't know the English term for it, but it's like a spray that you spray up your nose, so you won't do that. And then I hopefully can cut out every time I do that, because I absolutely hate it. But I do apologize if any one of you have had to listen to me do that. Let me do my lashes and then I'll be right back so we can finish up the face. Okay, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. Mine looks disgusting, I know, but I like this one and I've been the past couple of months a lot more into contouring and it's nice to go ahead and shop my stash a little bit. So I'm taking the shade in the middle. I think that this is the shade Fawn, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Fawn. So I'm taking that and I've been loving to take in this on a little Sigma F03 brush. It really just goes into the crack right here very, very beautifully. And I think it looks so strange with these lashes because I've been like having really, really uh, dramatic lashes the past couple of years. But I think that this suits my eyes a little bit better at this point, like a smaller lash. I would definitely go for something that is thicker than this, but I do love the length of these lashes. I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of a warmer bronzer today. So I'm gonna take my Essence bronzer and I'm gonna go back to this kit and I'm gonna take the blush brush like honestly I paid for all of these products I paid like what you pay for only this brush it's just insane but I was thinking a little bit earlier when I was just doing my lashes and so on I watch some people's um I watch a lot of YouTube people and like YouTube videos and makeup tutorials and so on but one thing I've noticed that I just don't ever watch even if it's like um makeup tutorial like full face of new first impression or full face of you know nyx or whatever it is i never click on it if it's like a seven minute video when it is like makeup tutorials i want them to be longer they don't have to be like 30 minutes so don't get me wrong but i i just a makeup tutorial that's like a full face and it's like seven minutes i never want to watch that because then i know it's that it's just like you you just get to see like 10 seconds of the foundation application and then it's like concealer and it's just like oh it's so unpersonal in my opinion let me know if you like that but i just i, I don't this bronzer is beautiful i really really like this bronzer 
from Essence. It's very, very inexpensive and this was my favorite for a very, very long time. I've been liking a cooler tone bronzer lately, but since we did a little bit more of a warm tone look today, I thought that this could suit very, very well. I actually think I want to take this Catrice highlight. This is beautiful. Um, I had this in a favorite video and I also did a video with Catrice that I will link up here. But this is real, really beautiful. Like I really recommend this if you can still get it. And then I'm gonna hop back to this kit and I'm gonna take this brush. Last year was my kind of drugstore year where I bought so much drugstore all the time. Now I've been on a high-end kick. I've been buying so much more expensive makeup, but I love to have like a mix of it. I really, really love like drugstore foundations and concealers, but I think it's fun to kind of mix it up and to have, I don't know, like eyeshadow palettes, I've always been a snob, like with high end and so on. There's a few palettes that's like cheaper that I think are good, but overall, I really, really love my high end ones and my indie ones so if i were to pick i would take that but this highlight i mean just look how beautiful this is it has like a pink shift with a little bit of like red in it it's just stunning if you even can see what i'm doing and then i'm gonna take this revolution pro skin finish in the shade luminance that is a dupe for the hourglass and max skin finish i think that people say i don't really know but I'm just gonna take this like a um, buffing powder almost. I've used this on my off days, like when I'm not filming. I don't use foundation an anymore when I'm not filming. Uh, it's getting too hot for that. What I like to do is to take this afterwards. My skin looks so radiant and beautiful. I really, really recommend this. And they have this in a, a bunch of different shades. So yeah, as I said, I, I, I really recommend it. So for blush, I'm gonna take this from Juvia's Place. This is the Surfina blush that looks like this. A little bit on my nose. I really like the look that uh, Beauty Bean does with that or Betty Jean, but her channel is Beauty Bean. I'll link her down below. I think I got a little bit too much though. I think I'm gonna take just my bronzer brush and kind of go over it. I have no idea when I do, what I do what I what I want to do for lips. Like I could do a nude, I could do a red, I could do an orange. Maybe I should do my orange one from Too Faced. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. I do think that this is a bit too orange. Let's see if we can just... Yeah, I think this looks better because this is like a red-orange look or a red-orange lip. So I took the shade Lucky Star from Colourpop as well and kind of just, you saw what I did, just kind of mixed them together. And then today I'm just gonna take this little hydrating setting spray from Revolution Skincare. that has hyaluronic acid in it. Okay, I'm gonna do something with my hair and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the finished look and I just wanna say that a couple of people have asked me to recreate the look that I did using this palette with like the Instagram video that I did, like that sort of look. But I did basically the same thing, only that I took the shade Lomo on my lid. So just, if you wanna do the same thing as that one, you can just do that. But I didn't wanna do the same look again. I wanted to try something else and I did really, really like this formula. It's so cool. And this shade is like glittery and it's not really like a gold, but it's like a gold burnt orangey yellow it's super weird but i think it's super cool and i really like the formula of this and i do like this palette a lot i definitely like if you like the color story of this i do recommend you purchasing it yeah that was what i had for you guys today i'm so sorry if the fan has annoyed you or if i have annoyed you being a little bit like ugh, down today but 
you know, I, I just felt like filming and playing a little bit with makeup and I felt so much better today. Like my back is still hurting, but yesterday I couldn't even sit up. That was how bad I was feeling. So I wanted to do something different today. I'm just a little bit cold, but, or I have a little bit of a cold. It's not the end of the world. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, please feel free to thumbs the video down. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.